This is the crankcase half we just cast, and it is the second half of the crankcase. This was the first attempt at casting this part, and I think it turned out pretty great. I was able to take some of the stuff I learned from casting the first half to improve the manufacturing process, and I was able to cast it well on the first try, like I said. All of the features cast well, the holes that hold the two halves together cast well. These are through holes, unlike on the other half, which we'll look at in a second, that are not through holes, those are tapped. The carburetor mounting port turned out well, the hole tapped well. That outside surface has a pretty great finish, cleaned up nicely, and I'm pretty happy with that. The top surface is pretty great, all three holes cast, thanks to the reinforcement pins I used that I made uh, for the first half and I used it for the second half as well because it clearly helped. The transfer port through hole cast well and the whole finish is great on this surface. The finish on the mating surface between the two crankcase halves is also pretty great. It's nice and smooth. On the inside we have the bearing housing which is once again a nice press fit. There are one or two minor surface defects. It looks like I maybe got a little bit of wax or maybe a bubble or something appeared on the surface. Strictly cosmetic and it should not interact with any of the moving parts of the engine so it should be perfectly fine. The biggest challenge with manufacturing this part was nothing to do with the investment casting but rather the production of the wax mold for my 3D printer. If you look at this design you can see these holes and the material around it is much greater than on this red model here. I found that these holes were too fragile. There was not enough material, so I went back and I added more material. I tried to print it two times, and after the second time having the same issue, I decided that I would just increase the material around the hole, which clearly helped. I was able to cast those holes, and casting turned out perfectly. There were no issues with the casting process, so this is going to be the last time I cast this part, hopefully. I'm going to go ahead now and put the two halves together. As we can see here, they go together like this, and then I will put the cylinder on top. The two halves are held together with four of these small screws, and uh, it, I've tested it once, so I can tell you already that it works nicely, but I'll put it together now so you all can see how that looks. I'm not a big fan of the increased material around those holes because it doesn't line up perfectly with the other half of the crankcase. There's some material protruding and it's just an aesthetic thing. I, I wish they would pair up like I originally had in the design, but it's okay. So we have two of the screws on. I'm not gonna tighten them all the way because I'm actually gonna put the cylinder on as well as the carburetor, which will help align the parts. And then once everything's aligned, we can go ahead and tighten the screws down more so than I am currently. Here is the final screw. And I'm not putting the crankcase in right now because it's just the plastic one and I did fit it. It fit nicely, the case closed, but fortunately one of the crankcase, uh, the, sorry, the crank is actually a little bent, so I need to go print it again or I'll just cast it. There are all four of the screws holding the two halves together and it looks really great. And the surfaces align nicely and when, there's, when I tighten down the screws, they'll be held together even more so, but we can see that the surfaces align very nicely and there's very little, if any, gap between the two parts. I'm now going to go ahead and attach the cylinder to the crankcase, and that is done with just six screws. I think I've mentioned it before, but this tool is not ideal because I can't really get in between the cooling fins very well. Uh, it works, but I will hopefully acquire a better Allen wrench soon. Like I said, this is just held on with six screws, and the cylinder helps align the two halves of the crankcase, which is nice. So once this is on, I'll go back and tighten all four of the screws that hold the two halves together. I have two of the screws on, and I'm starting off in the corners, and then I'll put the center screws in after that. This is not the final cylinder I will be using for the first test. As I mentioned, I believe in the previous casting video, uh, unfortunately, this cylinder is essentially perfect, but I recently have noticed that there is a, a small defect which basically allows external pressure to go through this hole into the transfer port, which is not ideal. That whole chamber has to be airtight, so I'm going to have to go back and recast these parts. 
apart from that, it is essentially gonna be identical to the final product. So this is a good test fit of the crankcase to the cylinder. One more screw, I believe, and we should be all good. Oh, nope, that's all of them. So here we go, here is the cylinder connected to the crankcase. Now that those parts are on, I'm just gonna go back and tighten these screws because the cylinder helps align the two crankcase halves. And then we also have the carburetor mounting port and we can see the circle uh, is pretty nice. The two halves align nicely. And we have the carburetor, which has a mating circle here. So if we just push that on, it actually has a nice press fit, but I'm also going to go ahead and add the two screws, which hold the carburetor to the crankcase. There and there, this carburetor is our plastic prototype model. There will be a metal model produced soon. I have to improve the design slightly, but for all intents and purposes, it is essentially going to be very identical and the mating surfaces will be the same. So it's a good test fit. But this is essentially the state of the engine. It's really great. These are the biggest, most difficult parts to manufacture. And the fact that I have knocked most of them out and have solved a lot of the challenges is really great. I'm really happy with how this looks. The gaps are looking really great. I was worried that there would be more of a gap in between. And I think with some possible improvements to um, the cylinder and solving that, I'll have a really great base to then build out the rest of the engine, including adding the piston and the crankcase and the carburetor and all that stuff. So for now, this is it. I have some more work to do. I think next I will most likely be casting the cylinder again. Maybe I'll do the crank or or the crankshaft, but most likely the cylinder. Uh, for now, that is it. Thank you for watching. This is Levi Sheridan. Have a great day.